Hello and welcome to The Appointment. My guest today is a veteran financier who is leading the youngest bank in the country. My guest is Rajiv Lal, the Managing Director and CEO of IDFC Bank. Well, Mr. Lal, thank you very much for sparing time for us. Uh, when you were speaking with the corporates and even as uh, a banker uh, and a financier, are you getting a sense that uh, the economy is turning around? Are you getting a sense that uh, the worst in terms of uh, problems is over? Right. Are people at least telling you that next quarter the top line will grow? Mm. So, I, we are at that, uh, I think we are at an inflection point. Uh, 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 the, the truth probably is that there is, at least in the investor community, um, frankly even in my own mind, uh, uh, a little bit of confusion, mm -hmm. there's a lack of clarity uh, because uh, uh, the data are all over the place, mm -hmm. right? So uh, you've had this revision of GDP data which was controversial, still <coughs> remains controversial in some circles. Um, although people are getting comfortable, more comfortable or used to the idea that, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, the official numbers are, we are growing at 7 odd percent. Uh, <coughs> so the concern for people has been that it doesn't feel like 7 percent, um, you know, credit offtake and mm -hmm. other metrics don't seem to You You know the hard numbers, that. you know loan growth, mm -hmm. you know NPLs. Mm -hmm. Uh, or people not return, paying their interest in 90 days. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, speak to corporates and you look at their uh, top yeah. lines and their bottom lines. Yeah. Are you getting a sense that uh, third quarter is the growth giving quarter, fourth quarter will be the growth generating quarter? No, is that so, feedback so coming to you? Not yet, not yet. That's why I'm saying. So the, what we are seeing in the corporate numbers, um, uh, certainly the top line, bottom line people have squeezed out cost and they seem to be managing. Um, but at least in the top line uh, is uh, arguably some level of infirmity uh, which doesn't seem to square with the 7% GDP growth. Uh, but then you have a third data point mm. which is uh, very robust growth in indirect taxes. Mm. Um, so uh, there's clearly something happening um, in the economy mm. and if I were to speculate my, my, my hypothesis would be that um, the promised government spending mm. on infrastructure in particular mm -hmm. um, and the shift of spending mm. from subsidies to asset creation national asset creation is now beginning to percolate in the system so whether it's spending on roads and the associated contracts, uh, whether it's spending in the railways and its associated contracts, uh, that is pumping some cash into the economy. Mm. You know, um, you are that still has one cascading of, effects. You are still one of the biggest financiers of mm. uh, infrastructure, yes. even after your new avatar. Mm. Uh, are you sufficiently convinced that uh, uh, that expenditure by the government is? well and truly underway? Yes, yes. Are you seeing it yeah. in the mid-corporates or in the corporate, uh, uh, you so know, I don't have the data to, to, to demonstrate that it's happening in the corporate level, but we have the data at the government level um, to confirm that, yes, this spending is taking place. Um, so, uh, that's what I'm saying. That, that there must be some level of uh, knock-on mm -hmm. benefit mm -hmm. um, um, and percolation of cash in the economy that should bolster uh, some form of uh, consumption spending. So that's the good news. You, know, you yourself have your finger on the pulse of mm. uh, many large corporates, yeah. project uh, uh, builders and mm. contractors. Uh, Fitch and Moody's have put out a report saying that the worst is uh, known right. for uh, public sector banks. They've actually upgraded their outlook to yep. stable from negative. Yep. Uh, can you say with confidence that uh, uh, the worst is over in terms of NPL recognition? I think so. I don't know about NPL recognition. Okay. So the, let's be, mm -hmm. uh, uh, because there's technicalities here. Okay. The worst is over in terms of the uh, discovery of stressed assets. Okay. Right, okay. um, and there's a distinction yes. because, uh, and there, uh, you know, mm. different degrees of transparency or lack thereof mm. on the stressed assets. But yes, it includes restructured assets. Correct. So, I think that entire uh, book, uh, in absolute terms, is not growing anymore. Mm. There could be some now reallocation. So, if we were classified as a restructured asset, it might become an NPL in some books. So, in that sense. 
-hmm. The line has been drawn underneath the problem. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the problem is not growing mm -hmm. uh, in absolute terms. Uh, the challenge now is to shrink the problem. Oh, is uh, it shrinking? Shrink the problem in relative terms. Mm -hmm. So the overall balance sheet of the system has to grow mm -hmm. um, as the problem assets have stopped growing mm -hmm. and therefore the proportionate drain that these assets represent on the total system uh, should diminish over time. Hopefully diminish faster than has been the case uh, hitherto. Um, assuming certain instruments such as the bankruptcy law um, are put into place relatively quickly mm -hmm. that permits uh, more expedition resolution um, of problem assets. Okay, yeah, you, you said that uh, as the amount of good loans grow, uh, mm -hmm. the problem will, uh, of NPA will look mm -hmm. smaller in percentage terms. And there will be some injection of capital that is required. Yes. So it's, it's, it has to be a common, you, you cannot grow the good loans mm -hmm. until you also recapitalize the system. So there will be an injection of equity that is required, some of which has been promised by government. Okay. And that will be very, very key. Mm -hmm. Um, to um, uh, providing constructive support for the economic recovery more generally. Oh, okay. Because unless you have that capital, the bulk of the banking system will not be able to support mm. the demand for credit uh, that will manifest itself okay. as growth picks up. Okay. And you, would have a, you could have a balance sheet recession, which you want to avoid. Absolutely. Uh, what's your, uh, uh, you know, uh, sense about loan growth per se, the capital problem apart? Mm. Uh, uh, the SBI chairman, uh, after her results, said that she's quite confident of 14% uh, uh, loan growth, mm. uh, that, which is much better than the system loan growth, and that is 25% of the banking system talking. Mm. Uh, are you confident that uh, loan growth is picking up in the second half? Yeah, 14% I think is doable. For the system? For the system, and therefore for SBI. Okay. And therefore, certainly for IDFC Bank. Okay. Parenthetically. No, I mean, uh, RBI puts yeah. out the banking sector no, growth, loan growth numbers. You I think know. that 14% uh, uh, or at least loan growth is accelerating. You're confident of that? Yeah, I think it will accelerate. I'm not sure it is accelerating, but it will. It is not yet accelerating, but it will accelerate. Okay. I'm pretty confident of that. Okay, now that's interesting. Mr. Lal, I have a few more questions on your bank. I'm back in a minute with Mr. Rajiv Lal, Managing Director, CEO, IDFC Bank.